Today is my first time flying the Diatone Taycan Cinewhoop. It's also my first time using the DJI goggles and remote. The remote actually causes me to crash at least once, and I also get stuck in a 10 meter tall pine tree. I'm blue six vanillas. Evil. Evil. Fin dag ute. Hoppas det blir like fint å fly. Remote powered up, ready to go. First flight is on a 4S1500 Mach battery. I'm struggling a bit in the beginning with my mod buttons, but trying to remember where the switch for angle, acro and air mode is. Also, I can't get the OSD up in my goggles so I can keep an eye on voltage on the drone. First flight, basically just testing out how it flies and if it's anyway near comparable to the simulator. Which in fact it is, I'm just crap at flying. Anyways, first battery, I have no clue how much juice is left so I fly back and just change the battery. And also try to figure out why I can't see any information on screen. It turns out I just had to go back into beta flight and activate one of my uh, UARTs on the flight controller. Second battery and I slapped my GoPro Hero 9 on for good measure. I think I got like maybe 20 seconds of flight time before I accidentally hit my disarm button and kamikaze it straight to the ground. It actually went GoPro first so let's see how that turned out. At least I was able to arm it and fly it back. GoPro looks okay at first glance, but taking a closer look I can see that the rear screen is basically fucked. It sucks, camera is quite new, but shit happens. At least it functions as it should and the front screen works, I'll get by. So let's just adjust the camera, tilt back and up we go. I continue to fly second 1500 mAh battery till it's empty. Next up is my two 850 mAh batteries. I ditched the GoPro for a lighter, snappier Cinewhoop. This thing is a blast, but it is definitely not a freestyle race quad. Prop wash is really bad and the wind keeps catching it at weird angles. Uh, at one point I figure I'm done cruising close to the ground and let's get some air. Do some nice treetop cruising and we're down. Fuck. That looks like a tall pine. At least I get to test my beep and flasher. Following the beep and the flash I locate it and Fuck climbing this tree. I'm wearing crocs, I have spent enough time this year in the hospital. Uh, but luck will have it, I find a thin cut down tree in the perfect length so I'm able to poke it down until it falls. No damage. Let's go back, empty out the last 850 ma battery. It was an enjoyable experience, felt really nice to be able to fly for real. I don't think this will be my main go-to quad for leisure flying. I do have an Emax Baby Hawk 2 in the mail. It uses the same forest batteries and is more freestylish, so I'm really looking forward to try that one out. Also, I'm not growing too fond of the DJI controller. Uh, I might look into getting the TBS Tango 2 in the near future, that one looks real nice. The buttons on the Mode 2 controller, they're... As they say in other reviews, they're not giving out much confidence. Thank you so much for watching. There will probably be more quad videos in the future, hopefully less crashes, but somehow I doubt that.